Welcome to the channel everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can show a text field above your keyboard as you can see here in the simulator. So this is the end UI that you will see with the scroll view and you have a text field here uh, above your keyboard. There are a couple of ways. So let's see um, both of the ways to do it. Let's build the UI that you are seeing uh, on the simulator. So what I have here is I have a scroll view and with the scroll view I have a bean stack and for each and then here let's just use hello world as you can see that it's showing hello world here just update the preview maybe let's update the font as well a little bit so you can see clearly so we got a scroll view now what we want is we want a text field that's stays above the scroll view when we are it's usually used in the messages uh, app so for example in our messaging app if you have a chat then you have this text field at the bottom that always stays there so how we do that so if i put a text field here now let's say an h tag um, text field here right and then just put another image there so now this text field let's review the preview you can see that this will show up at the bottom of the scroll view because of course it's after the v style what's the first way to do it the first way to do it is let's run the whole view in v stack right and then once you do that you move this h stack out of the scroll view and put it inside the v stack so now your v stack it has two components first is a scroll view and second is this h stack which has your text field and the image and then uh, we can of course provide some values around the v stack to make it look good right so this is how the field will look like and then you have your scroll view here and of course you can make this frame max width infinity and I'm reading so that your text is in front and then you have your scroll view taking all the space now let's see how it looks like when we run the app does the uh, text field goes um, up with this keyboard as yes it does so you can see that your text field is above the keyboard uh, maybe let's style it a bit text field style let's say around the border and now if I run it again you would see that yes so that's it that's your text field that stays there with the image so all the whole edge stack stays above the keyboard and it maintains the gap between the keyboard and everything so this is the first way of doing it there is one side effect when we are using scroll view with this um, you might not see it at once but you can see that if I am dragging my mouse down for example, if you're on your phone chatting, you can drag with your finger the keyboard down and it will close the keyboard. Mm -hmm. Let's see if the message is up. I can show you. So like, let's that, like that, right? If I scroll down, it kind of like closes the keyboard, but it's not happening here. So for that, you have to do one thing on the scroll view, which is scroll disable keyboard mode and we set it to interactive view. Once you do that and you run your app, now let's see if it dismisses that. So now if I do that, you can see that it's closing the keyboard when I'm dragging it down. So that's the behavior that you have to take care whenever you're doing this messaging kind of thing that user, your user is able to um, close their keyboard. Like of course they can press return and do it. Now let's see the next way of doing it. So this is the first way of doing it. Uh, the another option of doing it is let's say you don't want to use V stack for some reason and you just use a scroll view. So once you do that, then our scroll view will go away. Sorry, uh, we only have a scroll view. Our text field is um, not there now. So what we can do now is we can do like a save area inset and the edge bottom right and 
in this safe area insert what I want to do is I want to put my image tag in here now what this is doing is this is the safe area and I am putting my search field and the image in there so once I do that you can see that I have the scroll view and this is my safe area inset so this is my keyboard right so I can open and close so once I give it a padding it will eventually take over all the space in the safe, safe area so you have to give it like a padding and a background to make it work so I can say background say white so you can see that now it is there always so these are the two ways of doing it so you can put anything in there that you want it's not just it only works with the text field but this is the most of the behavior that people usually use it for thanks for watching the video and let me know if you like it and if there's anything else you want me to cover in swift ui and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much